Welcome back to my channel. My name is Asya and today we're going to be doing a Korean skincare routine. This is an updated skincare routine because I am in the middle of breaking out quite a bit right now. So this skincare routine is great for those of you with sensitive skin or oily type skin. If you have sensitive skin and it is hypersensitive, do check with a dermatologist before beginning any new skincare routine that has to be the disclaimer for this. For this skincare routine, you will notice that everything that I am using is a Korean beauty product. I'm a big believer in K-beauty. All of their things are formulated cruelty-free, um, vegan, and then are really great for hypoallergenic, super sensitive skin. So we're going to begin with the double cleanse. In K-beauty, they cleanse two times. Some people actually cleanse three times, but I'm gonna be talking about twice. The first would be your first cleanser, and then the second cleanser is a water-based cleanser and that is going to be you know cleansing the skin and prepping it for the next products that you'll be using after it so these are two of my favorite first cleansers first is going to be the repeat these are the gentle face cleaning remover pads repeat is a wonderful brand for those of you with sensitive skin I cannot say this enough this is one of my holy grail products I love this thing to death I love to travel with it because it really helps calm my skin down after travel. There is rose, jojoba, tea tree, and rosemary, and each one of those things serve a purpose for helping calm your skin down or control its pore care or have kind of like an antioxidant effect to it. This is great to remove just your skincare from the whole day. So you're gonna be talking about removing your sunscreen, the toxins from the environment around you, etc. It does say that you can remove makeup with this. You can definitely remove base makeup, but I don't recommend trying to remove any eye makeup with it. I just don't feel like it cleanses everything off fully, but this is definitely the first cleanser on days where I'm not wearing makeup. For days that I am wearing makeup or I would like a deeper first cleanser, I go in with the All Clean Balm by Hemish. This is formulated for those of you with sensitive skin as well. And this one is made with shea butter and coconut extract. So kind of just a calming, soothing, moisturizing effect for your very first cleanser. Highly recommend. After finishing with one of those first cleanser options, you can go in with your next water-based cleanser. I say water because you need water to properly activate both of these types. I like to cycle between the two. I usually use this in the morning and then this at night because I find this to be a little bit heavier and kind of moisturizing and sits on my skin a little bit differently than this bar would. This is the Sun By Me 30 Day Miracle Cleansing Bar. It is in a bar form, as you can see. You just lather up with your hands and then go on to your face with it. Inside this is a mix of AHA, BHA, and PHA. All right, with this, AHA will rid dryness and impurities from your skin surface. The BHA is going to exfoliate all of those clogged pores and remove excess sebum. And then PHA is gonna lock in the moisture while getting rid of dead skin cells. The idea with the Miracle Bar is that it has a combination of all of these gentle exfoliating agents just to be able to, over the course of 30 days, clear your skin. So whenever I notice that I'm breaking out a little bit more than usual, I like to start using the Miracle line. It's just a nice combination of acid without being too harsh on your skin. My other second cleanser, and this is a holy grail product because like I said, this is a holy grail brand for me, is the Repeat Gentle Pure Cleanser. And within this cleanser are a whole bunch of calming ingredients, but more so than calming ingredients, this is going to strengthen your skin barrier. Strengthening your skin barrier will mean that you are going to be able to try different skincare in a whole new way. So if you're working on strengthening that skin barrier, you're just gonna fix a lot of issues in your life. Look up how to strengthen your skin barrier and what products work really great for you, but this does aid in that. Within this product, there is coconut, green tea, comfrey, and broccoli. For the comfrey, that is what's going to be helping with your barrier strength on your skin, and broccoli is great for revitalizing and antioxidants, and it's one of my favorite foods in the world, I know, super weird. But this is a great second cleanser because it doesn't leave your skin feeling stripped or tight after you wash your face. If you are using a cleanser that makes your skin feel tight, you're using it stop using it it's stripping your skin and it's not something that's going to be working for you in the long run so you might feel clean but you're not the strip next after all of that great cleansing goodness you're going to try and restore moisture and push in those active ingredients into your skin so what we're going to do next is tone it so think of your skin like a proper sponge and if you want your sponge to absorb more moisture what do you do you prep it with a little bit of moisture so that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna prep our skin with a little bit of moisture, and I like to use a bit of a combination of toners. These are my 
three favorite toners. When I feel like I'm breaking out, I revert back to using the Miracle Toner or the Miracle line from Sun By Me. This is the AHA PHA BHA 30 Day Miracle Toner. So within this, we have tea tree. It also helps brighten and it also helps moisturize. And uh, it's pretty low pH, which is great for your skin. So I highly recommend this for times that you are breaking out. I like to use this right after the Miracle Bar. The next toner-ish product that I like to use is this Ground Plan 24 Hour Secret Mist Plus. This is formulated with witch hazel instead of water. There is no water in this. It's super awesome. It's, it's just... You can also refresh your skin throughout the day using this. Next up from another one of my holy grail brands is the Pyeongkang Yule Mist Toner. I actually use quite a bit of Pyeongkang Yule in my routine, especially when my skin is feeling really inflamed. And the reason for that is because all of this is formulated with intense amounts of a root extract that is used in Korean traditional medicine. And it's just an overall calming uh, property that they have in this and it's formulated without dye, without irritants, and without fragrance. It has 91.9% of the Coptis AP, it's a silent J, Yaponica root extract. You know, so we had to try it both ways. I don't, I don't really know. But it's wonderful for just kind of getting down that inflammation that you might have, um, especially when it's around breakouts like this, where it just feels like it's all puffy. This is really great and calming. You can use this throughout the day to mist onto your face. Just remember to update your sunscreen after using it. Next up after toner is going to be Essence, and Essence is a staple of every Korean skincare. It's kind of the texture you're looking for is going to be kind of between a toner and a serum, but it has equally great amounts of active ingredients in it. And this happens to be one of my favorite products of all time. This is Pyeongkang Yule's Essence Toner, and it has a gel-like consistency. So you'll notice that it's more viscous than a usual toner, um, and has just kind of like, you should be able to pull it back off your skin just like that and you can pat this in and it really does calm your skin down so water is not present in this toner instead it has 91.3 percent milk vert root extract and within that is very nutrient dense ingredients that are going to be packed into your skin because you should be pushing an essence into your skin like so and it is a wonderful wonderful product for those of you that have redness especially those of you with redness right here. You can mini mask with this, put it onto a cotton pad, soak it really well, and put it on any areas where you notice a bunch of redness. I promise you, this is going to make a world of difference for those of you with extreme sensitive skin. The next step after my essence is to go in with any serums and ampoules that I might need to use that day. When I notice that I'm breaking out, I also have realized that it's because sometimes my skin is just really dehydrated. I'm either not drinking enough water, which I always try to drink, or you know I've just been doing too much that day and kind of just been out and about and I really need to restore as much moisture back into my skin as I can. So what I like to do is use a combination of these two things. These come in a box of 10 and they come in these easy to use 1 ml little ampoules and if you're not familiar with hyaluronic acid, it is a great way to restore very intense moisture back into your skin. So what I like to do is anytime that I feel like I'm getting very dry um, patches on my skin, I'll go in with this ampoule first. Like I said, comes in a pack of 10, so you can use it over time. Um, I actually like to use this ampoule two times, so I kind of just use half the amount and just kind of target where I need to have it. So this is a great ample for restoring moisture back into your skin. Next after that is the Pyeongkang Yule Moisture Serum. In this moisture serum is a great mix of the Coptis Japonica, Japonica, root extract that you'll find in all of Pyeongkang Yule's products as well as olive oil. So for those of you that feel like they have oily skin but it might actually just be dehydrated skin, definitely try and check this out. This uh, just really restores a great amount of moisture back into the skin and coupled with that ample, both of these steps together are going to really lock all of that moisture into your face and kind of just not dissipate throughout the day. Next, after all of that, I'm going to go in with a combination of these three ingredients depending on the time of day that I'm doing my skincare. So let's start as if I'm going out in the daytime. First, I'm gonna go in with my Ground Plan Deep Wrinkle Treatment Eye Cream. This is high in lipids and fatty acids and it's a great way to kind of infuse all of the plant-based ingredients that are in this into that sensitive skin under your eyes. It is the thinnest skin and you really need something that has a great amount of nutrient-dense active ingredients to be under your skin or to be under your eyes. 
This only has plant-based ingredients including sunflower seed oil, argan oil, and safflete oil, and it hydrates the skin and locks it all in while plumping and firming up all of those fine lines and those wrinkles that you do tend to get under your eyes. The way that I like to use this eye cream is I use this finger to pat that in, press it in under my eye. I try not to go too much onto the top because I'm prone to milia as you guys can see, but any residual product that I have on my fingers, I put it into my smile lines because I have them. I smile so much because I'm a happy person or whatever. But I pat it into my smile lines and I highly recommend doing that. Again, if we are talking about a daytime routine, I like to go in with this Neogen Daylight Protection Sunscreen. This is an SPF 50 and is just one of my overall favorite sunscreens. I've been wearing it for, I wanna say, two or three years now. It's it's just one of my favorites. Thing in this, it has hydration from rose and raspberry extracts, and so it's great for those of you with dry skin types. But you know, um, Another weird thing that I like to do with this sunscreen are if I'm not wearing makeup and I'm going into a meeting because I don't wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis, I take it like this. Obviously, I put it all over my face, let it dry, and then I use it again right here as a highlighter. Lastly, for a night cream, I like to use the Pionka Mule Nutrition Cream. Again, this has a root extract that we have been talking about in this entire video, so I'm not going to repeat that for you guys. But it is a very dense formula, and it is why I like to use it so late at night or at night, because I just feel like it kind of absorbs into the skin over time and doesn't really just kind of sink in immediately. So I wouldn't recommend trying to put on makeup or go out right after this, but this is just such a nice, thick cream to finish your day with. It feels so luxurious and really does pack in all of that root extract once again. And it's called a nutrient cream for a reason because it has a very long list of nutrients that are being forced into your skin. Okay, I think that's it for my skincare routine. This has been condensed down into a YouTube friendly version, but this took me forever to film because I have a little bit mouth today. The next video that I put up is going to be an updated hair care routine. I promise when it comes to beauty, that will be the next thing that I put up because I'm getting tons of questions on this, but I hope you enjoyed this quick skincare update. If you are not familiar already, I have a brand called Soul Cool, and if you have made it all the way to the end of this video, you might already know, but you can shop Soul Cool in the description box below, and it is curated K-Beauty. This K-Beauty made simple. You can download our application, or you can shop online. Subscribe, bye!